Okay. So we're beginning. I'm coming off of a huge headache that I've taken some good old fashioned Tylenol to suppress. Let's go before it wears off. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. We didn't do supports. Because I didn't want Hey, Felix! Can I talk to you for a minute? What is it? I'm listening. Look! Over there! Isn't that a cute kitty? Oh, I agree. I don't dislike cats. Looks evil. Here, try this. It's candy, but I promise it isn't sweet. Perhaps I'll have a piece, if it's not sweet. Hey, are you busy? I've got this great book and... What are you doing? Huh? Why are you so concerned with me? More importantly, didn't you used to be shy? Oh, I'm as shy as ever. Then why are you following me around? That's, um, well, you know how ghosts are only scary because you can't see or talk to them? You're saying I'm a ghost. What? No, it was just a metaphor. <laughs> there you are, foolish as ever. <sighs> That's it. You're smiling again! What? That's why I've been working so hard to talk to you. I wanted to see you smile again. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Such a trivial reason. You're pestering me without a hint of fear just to see me smile. You've really grown up. Um, yeah, I guess. Wait, why are you being nice? Did something terrible happen? Did you have a falling out with an old friend or something? This is the part where you get angry at me, isn't it? Uh, come on. You were saying something about a book I should read? Really? Well, um, it's, um, this one, if you wouldn't mind. All right. In the last one out of Sylvain's long list of B supports. Although this one's an A support. Ah, why am I so unlucky with women lately? Oh, Sylvain, what's that face for? Have you been dumped again? <laughs> Isn't there an unwritten rule you shouldn't ask someone that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you didn't mind being dumped. <laughs> So your love life can get you down sometimes after all. Who knew? I'm sad every time I break up with someone. It's just... I usually try to be the one doing the breaking up. I've never had a hard time with girls. Ever. Not until recently. But now when I think about it, I wonder what any of them even liked about me. It's not as if any of them knew much about me. I don't get it. Isn't that what a relationship is for? Learning about someone else? You can't know it all right at the start. I asked you before if you would have invited me out if I was a peasant. You did ask me that, yes. That was wrong of me to say. I've just... It's not an excuse, but I'm always so suspicious. I'm a nobleman with a crest. The marriage proposals don't stop coming. Everybody wants me. Except they don't actually want me at all. They want my bloodline, within my family and without. It's always the same story. Sometimes I think that if I didn't have a crest, no one would look at me twice. I see. And you're probably not wrong. Honestly, I've had those same sort of thoughts myself. Oh? What sort of thoughts might those be? I sang, people cheered and applauded, and when I walked off stage, I'd find the same thing every night. A mountain of presents and marriage proposals. But none of those people knew me. 
All they knew was the singer they saw on the stage. All they wanted was my looks and my voice. None of them even tried to get to know the real me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've heard this somewhere. We may come from different places, but we're much the same, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I suppose we are. Look, Dorothea, I've realized something. Even if you were an old grandma, I'd still flirt with you. And I'd absolutely win you over. Though, I'd much rather win you over now and be with you until you become an old grandma. That might be the most legitimately romantic thing you've ever said, Sylvain. And I can't say I disagree. I'd rather you win me over now, too, so that I can stay by your side until you're an old grandpa. Well, before any of that, will you go to dinner with me? I'd be happy to. At the end. Cyril and Lysithia A. Hey, Lysithia. I'm glad I found you. What's up, Cyril? Could you read something for me again? Looks like it's another shopping list. I'm happy to help you out. Did you try looking it over yourself yet? What's the use? I told you I can't read. Have a look here. Any of these letters look familiar? Huh? This one? Was that... apples? So it says... three... apples? Yes, you got it! See? You can do it! I wonder if there's anything else I can recognize. Let's see... It's clear you've got a sharp memory. If you apply yourself, you'll be reading in no time. Reading is such an important skill. Once you learn, you won't forget. And I won't be around to read things for you forever. Lysithia? Anyway, don't you enjoy learning? It seems like you haven't even thought of trying prior to this. Do you simply not have time for it? Until now, I never thought about how to learn. And since I was hiding it, I never asked anybody. But right now, I feel like I'd be happy to live like this for a little bit longer. It seems like a hassle at this point not to learn, so you may as well start putting in the work. Well... I like having you read things to me. You do? Yeah. You always seem happy when I ask you to read things. And when you're happy, you smile. I think you're pretty when you smile. I bet you everyone tells you that though, huh? As a matter of fact, they haven't. Stop messing with me. Hang on a second. Am I the only one who's seen you make that face? Is that why nobody's told you? Excuse you? I mean, honestly. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take care of this errand for the professor. I'll see you later, Lysithia. Don't expect me to read for you again. And, uh, just take care of yourself, will you? You. There are two of the younger people at the academy, right? Anyway, we got a mission. Great Bridge Coup. After fending off the Empire, your forces decide it's time to advance. But first you must capture the Great Bridge of Murden, a strategic crossing point over the Airman River, which borders the Alliance and the Empire. And if I recall... When Lawrence shows up, he just straight up holds perfectly still not moving. Intent on the Imperial Capital. Makes it easier to recruit him, army goes since you have to beat him with Violet, I believe. Mountains and marches through Alliance territory as they continue south. Also, the mission doesn't end until he but dies. But this route takes them through the territory of House Gloucester, Imperial supporters, so they request help from Claude, the leader of House Regan. Claude agrees to distract House Gloucester's soldiers, and the Kingdom Army marches onward toward the Great Bridge of Murden to cross the Aramid River, which separates the Alliance and the Empire. Come on, put us on the front lines.
Oh. Dang that. Yep, we're on this side. And I, if I recall, Akron shows up over here. And if we just kill him immediately, then we win. Or at least he runs away like a little baby. So anyway, the only one I know that needs the support is Cyril and Isithia for that A-plus support. But is there anybody else that has anything? Felix is A support Flane. Well, Vane is done. Mercedes has A support with Constance. Annette is done. Ingrid is done. Nilda is done. And Cyril has Sedith and Lysithia. Well, I guess technically Felix has a support with Flane. And so we could throw the unused unit onto Mercedes, who's going to be healing everybody. Actually, at this point, we don't really have an unused unit, do we? Oh, Sylvain. I forgot you were here. Oh yeah, because Constance is here. Got it. All right. Took care of that. I made sure everyone's weapons are repaired. Um. Uh, let's give Ingrid the well. the key to open up the one box in the bottom corner. There you are. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back. Let's see if we can do this like usual. That symbol. It's an enemy raid. Stay calm and face them head on. Send a messenger to Acheron immediately. If we're quick, we might be able to pull off a pincer attack. Edelgard's dog, huh? All the more reason to kill her. Attack Ladislava and take the bridge. Shall we begin? Sounds easy enough. The only thing that would make it easier is if I actually had somebody on my stride. See, that's out of range. So waning shot with the steel bow. Just to deal some significant damage. Let's go. At your service. Ready when you are. Come over here and wait. I'll comply. What's my strategy? Sunshine. See, we can still do our usual bolting shenanigans. We want to kill any single stronger enemy. Or that one archer. Get, get him out of here. I'll 
cut through. Do a dance. And we'll kill you. I'll leave animations off for I'm now. Shall we? Right now, I'm perfectly content with it, with the animations off. Show your loyalty to the Empire. Attack the enemy from behind. I've got to make my name known to Her Majesty through distinguished service. Acheron, a minor lord of the Alliance territory. If he's fighting for the Empire, we've no choice but to attack him. Little annoying how he just shows up like that. Do you think we'll let you take this bridge from us? This is no good. Reinforcements keep coming, and more will soon join them. Well, spell, a spellcaster is probably dead. Or not. Demand the Your myth. Apologies for the late arrival. The sandstorm, he's back. To do. You're alive. How? Let's fucking go. For now, allow me to join your forces. I am prepared. Let's get to punching everybody to death. Man, he has no critical chance, does he? Alright, punching horses then. That doesn't work either. He has no battalion. Alright. Even if I die. All right, let's see what we can do here. So I'm thinking that. I'm just punch this guy for a bit. Weak. Here, dance a net. So she can dance all four of those guys. Thank you. And now we have a little bit more stuff to work with. Damn, his defense is high. There we go. We heard him. He has an evasion ring. I don't care for stealing it though. As they say, if you can't beat them, join them. I'm not in for a beating, am I? Akron. Get your goons out of here. I never should have allied with the Empire. Oh, I thought his goons leave when he, uh, when he bails. Whoops. Damn it. Ouch. Really?
one guy has to screw up all my plans. Fuck off. I am prepared. Yeah, and she dies. Sunshine. Shall we? All right, we're going to one shot him. Let's go. As they say, if you can't be black, I know. The question is, what exactly do we do from here? Um, what's my strategy? Now I'll just use you to kill this guy. Or not, because we can't do it. Ready when you are. Cool. Okay, here's what I can do. I can use him to just block the way. At your service. <laughs> Let's go. Even if I die. Nice Just break. like that. I'd be honored. With that, hopefully that'll give him enough evasion to deal with it. And the dude might still die, I'll move you here you can handle yourself. Alright. Let's deal with the enemies protecting the fortress quickly and take control of this area. Working on it. Enemies approaching. Get the soldiers standing by to join the fight. We may need to hurry up preparations of the ballista too. Protect the fortress. Ah, damn it. I'll cut through. You should be able to kill him, right? One solid smack to the face. No ballistas here. Ah! 
Oh, the dude is only level 30. But that means he could be a war master, so nice. One two punch is like a weird delay type attack. I'm your girl. You make me feel safe. There you go, dude. reinforcements. Good thing that missed. Dang, that didn't. Okay, we, we do want to do to get more kills, so... He needs to kill people. He's under leveled. And he deserves it anyway. left and his uh oh boy I'm stronger than before our defense has now exceeded our strength um oh he doesn't have defined defense the situation Odd, but okay. is dire but... for now I'm impressed Got a Braxis. Ouch. Will anyone remember Rip. all that I worked for? I don't think you've seen this one. For? Perhaps I shall go unmourned. Untrue, because we're going back in time to stop that from happening. Sunshine. Um. Yeah, she, she just doesn't have a lot of uh HP to work with. Compared to some of our other units. Hopefully this will turn out better. Yeah, that's better. He didn't die. Ready when you are. to slow down. I want to stay out, ra out of range of this guy. Perfection. I am prepared. To do. Two kills on the silver platter for you. I wield this power for his highness. I'll cut through. 
Yeah, we got another Shall we? horse coming in. What's my strategy? I'll comply. At your service. Just give you a visit. Rather than burning another fortify. I'm your girl. Let's go. Could you not? Will anyone? Damn archers just spawning in randomly. Sunshine. Let's go. You... I oh, he dies too. Want to die. I Rip. have to make it home. All right, then. We have to roll it all the way back to Ash's turn. Let me guess, now the archer will attack Ingrid and kill her. I am prepared. I need to slow down. <laughs> I'll cut through. At your service. I'll comply. Stand on the stairs. That'll prevent him from doing any stupid shit. What's my strategy? Classic fire emblem strats. Shall we? No bullshit Sunshine. though. Sunshine. I'm your girl. Let's go. So, blocking the stairs does nothing in this game. Okay. Not quite. Oh. They just show up in the closest spot. Not your best. Ready when you are. There we go. Reinforcements have been halted. I'd be honored. A no from me, bud. Don't let your guard down. Can he reach the other archer? He can. Can he kill though? No. Now we can. With each kill, more monstrous. Yeah, Hilder is the stronger of the two. By a big margin.
just keep sending more horses. Oh boy, that's a venom axe. Do. Come on, you can do some damage, can't you? There we go. One damage. some HP. You've earned it, bud. Okay. If we gotta lure him over, I'll lure him over. Zap. over here. So that's probably a death for you to do, right? My compliments. Oh. So even the zapping isn't enough. Just eked by. Don't let your guard down. Almost. There we are. This guy who is outside of everyone else's reach. Or not, well, attack range is the proper word. Level 32. It's we'll better to serve his highness. Weird, he's not set to attack anybody.
but one of these needs to miss. Favor. I will not let you pass. All right. Just fine. Injuries mean nothing. You have my support. want to magic you down or shoot you down. Oh, she has the flying immunity and stuff, doesn't she? Um, no, she just has Aegis and very high defense compared to our unit's attack, at least. That'll do it. Lady Edelgard. I'm sorry. It was the least I could do. Thirty nine strength is pretty good. And there's Lawrence. Lawrence Hellman Gloucester have arrived to join the battle in my father's stead. Hey, Lawrence. How's it going? We're a little late. Don't let your guard down. We just are not strong enough for anything. This sucks the fun out of it. When you want to just blow everything up. do that. Pathetic. Got a lucky dodge in there. is not going to budge for now. Punchy time. Am 
Punchy time. I'll comply. Get some more item. Some fight left in them. A little bit more fight. There we go. Not bad. That finally did him in. Yeah. The swords, eh? How about a gambit? Yeah. And we got the lethality. Let's do this. Another lethality. All right. Six Grimmery. No keeping up with the good magic at the moment. Well, good as objective. It could be better. But we'll take what we can get. Nice. Seems I've improved again. Now, I don't know if we'll drag Lawrence out, but we'll see. Not quite. Too slow. Nope, he's part of his own gang. Damn it. Deal a little bit more damage to the guy before we can. And we could do. Bullshit. I'll comply. What's my strategy? I am prepared. I'll do it again, but hit this time. I'm your girl. Sunshine. I have grown much. Your service. Shall we? I'd be honored. Is 
Bro, Lorenz, you're the only one that'll cause any issues, so we'll just have Violet be out there. Take the hit. Ready when you are. Maybe I should have used a rally on him. Oh well. I'll cut through. It's been a while, Professor. If this were anywhere but a battlefield, I would offer you tea. I've no choice but to follow the Empire if I wish to live. I hope you will not think ill of me. Alright, Lawrence. Stop the enemy and get over here. To oppose the Empire at a time like this would be entirely too reckless. We might leave Thalby at him on accident. That wouldn't be good. Yield. Though I will not beg for my life, that would be unbecoming, wouldn't it? Lawrence, get over here. You're inviting me to join you? But to abandon House Gloucester? Your dad's an idiot. No, I can convince my father. <laughs> I will help you topple the Empire, I swear it. It's a farce, all of it. Uh, Dimitri doesn't agree. He doesn't like me sparing somebody. Anyway, do 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 do's back. To do? Why? How are you here? You died five years ago. I was saved by my brothers, men of Dusker. Those people you were with, they were of Dusker? And they saved you? Your Highness, I ask that you fulfill your long-held desire, did I not? Allow me to once again act as your sword and shield. Please, let me witness your triumph. I want to behold the moment your wish is finally granted. To do? Of course. And in exchange, I ask that you swear something to me here and now. Do not ever throw your life away again. Understood? Your Highness, understood. Idiots, embracing death for the sake of that woman. Truly foolish. Aren't you happy we won? I... I don't know. Do you regret killing them? They were just beasts with human faces. I had no choice but to kill them, and so I did. That... That is all there is to it. It's about it's time you two returned. We must discuss our next course of action. Please. I need to join you no matter the cost. Oh. I'm sorry. But my hands are tied. By the goddess, what's with all the commotion? What is this girl doing here? This is an army, not an orphanage. I believe she's from a nearby village. She keeps insisting that she needs to join our ranks. And you thought we could use a child on the front lines? Hurry up and take her back to her parents. My family is gone. I don't have anywhere else to go. Please. I can use magic and I can fight. I can cook, do laundry, anything. I'm sure there are plenty of more suitable places to find work. Why are you so fixated on this army, young lady? I need... to get revenge. I must strike down the one who murdered my big brother. Oh boy. 
Your Highness, what should we do? Let her do as she pleases. Thank you. Very much. Yeah, this can only go well. Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. So is she going to be chilling around the monastery, or here's how to do, do, do is go, doing, go for a visit? Yeah! Hell yeah! Still tending the garden? Here for the flowers again? Not particularly. You might as well have a look while you are here. I have two things to say. First, I thank you for supporting His Highness in my absence. Hey, Chess but Master, I must also gone? admonish you for taking your own well-being too lightly. On several occasions, I have seen you protect others by putting yourself in harm's way. I am grateful for your efforts, but I feel you should place a higher value on your own life. His Highness relies on you, as do I. You need not worry. Then show that with your actions. We cannot afford to lose an invaluable asset like you. And... And... This greenhouse would be a more lonely place without you in it. It would not be fair to the flowers to leave me their only caretaker. Hmm. <laughs> Someday... I hope to show you a whole landscape of these flowers in full bloom. You mean Dusker? Yes. Once this conflict is over and His Highness ascends the throne, I believe it can be done. You must live at least until then. Understood? Same to you. That's true enough. I had not thought much of my own life until now. Except that I would gladly cast it aside for his highness. Scars on his face. That is yeah, he's pretty battle-scarred. But now I desire to see the end of this war. Until I can show you the fields of Dusker and Bloom, I will go on living. What this? We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. We wouldn't be clashing. Claude should be on our side. Just like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, 
I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. Why them? House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. If things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though, if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Allying with the Alliance? Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Let's join forces. Agreed. It's about the only thing we can do. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grunder Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. Of course she remembers no, the feast. please stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Why not march up to Her Majesty and remind her of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, Boar Prince, do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire, but it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? If they must die, I will kill them. Nothing could be simpler. How's Flash doing? Anyway, the dude has a bunch of supports of people. Look at all them supports. Also, Gilbert. Hey, wait. What is it? You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. You are a colossal idiot. One slip-up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was at Dusker. He died to protect his highness. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? I hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. I am a man of Dusker, yet you were concerned for my life. Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. Coming from you, that is enough. What's that supposed to mean? I just meant... <sighs> never mind. Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. How can you kill me, if I am already dead? I... you, you know what I meant. Classic. 
Try being a little less, uh, open, Felix. To do an ash. You're quite late getting back. <sighs> the scouting mission didn't go well. I was so busy, I didn't even have time to eat. I thought that might be the case. Gilbert was exhausted, too. Glad you made it. I saved some food for you. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Your cooking's fantastic, as always. The spices were a nice touch. I can really taste the Dusker inspiration. You remembered that I wanted to try more Dusker cuisine, didn't you? Yes. How is it? Amazing? You're a much better chef than I am. Your cooking is not bad at all. <laughs> Thanks. My father would be glad to hear it. Is he the one who taught you? Not exactly. I learned from watching him work the kitchen in his restaurant. And what about you? I think you said that you and your sister helped with the cooking at home. Yes. I learned by watching my mother. Nothing remains of Dusker. The towns, the people, the culture. All of it was put to the torch. My mother and sister are gone. Yet that simple memory of them standing together in the kitchen is so clear, so real. So in a way, you put those memories into this meal. Yes. Through me, they are able to live on. I like that way of thinking. The church may not like my feelings on this, but in Fodlin, when people die, they pass on to be with the goddess, right? I suppose. That seems so far away. I'd rather they stayed here. My parents, my brother, Lanato. Maybe they can all live on through me, too. As long as you think of them, they will. To do. Your cooking is delicious. It really is. Careful, or you will oversalt it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Thank you to do. Eat as much as you'd like. All right, to do in Mercedes. Oh, to do. Are you praying to the goddess of Fodlan? That seems odd. Won't the Dusker gods be upset if they hear you praying to another land's deity? The Fodlan goddess was recognized in Dusker, too. The deities of foreigners are seen as the protectors of their respective lands. It has been said that we would offer our prayers to her in times of war. Huh. So the goddess is part of a pantheon. I guess that's one way to interpret it. Anyway... What are you praying for? For peace to come even one day sooner. <sighs> That's a lovely prayer. I was just thinking about praying for that myself. I see. Hey, Dudu. What are your plans for yourself once this war is finally over? To serve His Highness for the rest of my days. I thought you might say that. And you? That's a good question. I was thinking about traveling to Dusker. To Dusker? There is nothing of interest left there. Isn't it where you were born? And isn't it where your wonderful food and stories come from? I think those are reasons enough to visit at least once. Mercedes. If you will allow it, I would like to accompany you. His Highness would surely grant me leave to go. You really think so? Then I hope the war ends as soon as possible. As do I. We're going to have to shower the goddess with prayers. We'll pray that she watches over and protects us while we work to end this war. Then, when it's finally finished, we can travel. That promises to be interesting. We should pray to the Dusker gods as well. Yes, that's a brilliant idea. Which of the Dusker Gods should we pray to? For victory, we pray to the God of War. Or... Or... Just the God of War. <laughs> Come on! What were you going to say? 
Oh, I know. It's the god of travel, right? Let us leave it at that. I knew I was right. You taught me so much about your gods. So let's pray. For the end of the war, and for our safe travels to Dusker. At the end of the war. The Dew and Annette. Uh, I'm sorry. So sorry. What is it, Annette? Uh, I completely forgot that it's my turn for kitchen duty today. Huh? Did you? Did you do all the kitchen prep already? Kitchen duty is mine today. What? But... Oh, did I get the day wrong? Yes. Yours is tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow, I really am something else. These things happen. <laughs> is something funny? No, I was just happy. So, you probably already know this, but my uncle is really strict. He wanted me to be perfect at cooking, studying, cleaning, washing, everything, really. He said if I wasn't perfect, as a knight's daughter, I'd be devaluing my crest. Whenever I messed up, he looked so mad, and he'd sigh like he just lost his faith in humanity. That is harsh. Oh, I know he loved me and all. He was just kind of scary. But you've helped me out and been patient with me without getting mad. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Dudu. I have hardly done anything. You know what? You remind me of my father. Of Gilbert. You look scary at first glance, but you're actually really kind. Is that so? Oh, right. Let me help you with something, if that's okay with you. What are you cooking today? Hopefully I can chip in. It is a meat dish from Fargus. Uh, I'm still a complete klutz, so I'm not gonna be in the way, am I? Not at all. I was hoping that the food I made would bring a smile to your face. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's... <laughs> well then, I can't wait for dinner time. Good. Is that why he has supports with Gilbert? Anyway, moving on. We have one with Ingrid, one with Lane, and we still can't do B. Shamir. I guess that's after a certain point in the story. I wonder what event would uh open that up uh to do are you okay you look unwell ingrid is my face frightening uh what i mean um or sort of or not exactly i wouldn't use the word frightening aggressive maybe but it's really nothing to worry about why did someone say something cruel I made a village child cry. Oh, I see. Let me guess. You feel like you look frightening, so you walked around with a smile glued to your face. How did you know? I'm starting to understand how you think. The thing is, forced smiles never work well. They usually just end up making a person look creepy and insincere. I see. Duly noted. To be honest, when we first met, I was pretty intimidated by you. Not because of a smile, but a lack of any emotion whatsoever. And you so rarely spoke. I had no idea what to make of you. But that's only because I wasn't making an effort to get to know you. Because you were from Dusker. As I started to get to know you, to understand your personality, I realized what a fool I'd been. Personality. You may come off intimidating, but underneath that cool exterior is a kind, 
loyal and noble person. A really wonderful person. In a certain regard, you are one of the knightliest people I know. Hmm. What is it? Wonderful person. This is the first time anyone has ever said a thing like that to me. It is rather... awkward. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. Which it kind of is, now. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything. Yes, of course. The same to you, Dudu. Next up, Dudu and Flain A. This should be interesting. It's about cooking. Uh, hello there, right? Dudu. I just want to say that I am really terribly sorry. For what? I, um, I tried yep. to cook on my own. It was an absolute disaster. Adding that seasoning. Adding all that seasoning. Uh, what a mistake. Mistakes happen. But chef, that is, did you? I defied your instructions. Quite blatantly, I might add. I tried to cook before I had gained mastery over the tools. I have been a terrible student. Are you going to stop teaching me now? Is that what you want? Not in the slightest. I desperately want to learn from you. As you were, then. You... I... Truly? You have not disappointed me. The food itself tasted awful, of course, but there was more to it than that. I could feel the thought you put into it, the wish to please others, to be faithful to what you've learned. You... you actually ate the food I made? I did. The ingredients were chopped to perfection. You also seem to have learned how to handle fish without my instruction. That's surprising. I learned by watching you. You have talent. One day you will surpass me. I was certain you would be angry with me. It is decided then. Someday you will explain that something I made is delicious. I do not quite know how many years it will take, but I am willing to rise to the challenge. Please, help me get there. I will. Well, she has a lot of years to work with. However long it takes, I look forward to it. Now, your next lesson will consist of the selection and seasoning of ingredients. Of course, Chef. Uh, to do, rather. Call me whatever you want. Oh, this is so exciting! Uh, let me see. Chef Dudu? Master Chef Duda? Oh, Supreme Chef Daddy Pie! <sighs> I suppose I've already committed. <gasps> oh, I know! Chef Dettles! <laughs> Alright, does Dettles... Dettles has no more support. Um... We, uh... Got... By Scythia and Hilda by proxy. We'll skip it. We've already seen it. All right, exploration. Okay, uh, unit appearance. Dimitri in battle. We'll change it to class. He wears his new fancy white armor. And the dude gets his fancy armor as well. Wait, I forgot to look at the, uh... I forgot to try to get to do War Master. Um, oh, is Axe and Brawlinger actually at A? He can get it. Sweet. Thank you. Don't have to worry. Okay. Welcome. After we cross the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in my. Fi we actually crossed it five. Oh, this is terrifying. What am I gonna do? Don't worry. I gotta get a grip. I'll arrange for a funeral. You think we'll meet him on the battlefield and he'll kill me? The front lines. 
somebody say black magic tournament? I wonder if anyone can deal a single point of damage to Mercedes. Don't expect forgiveness. Question? What is a question? Check that out. Let's keep our guard up. Let's keep our guard up. My yep, Mercedes is invincible. I had to protect my just a finishing crit for good measure. I want to make sure she stays dead. Where's Flane on this? I think it's a spot in front of the. What you, what you gonna call it? So the campaign continues, does it? Well, allow me, as a professional recluse with ten years of experience, to volunteer for, um, staying behind. Oh, who am I kidding? The fighting won't stop until we've defeated Edelgard, will it? Or until we lose, I guess. But there's not much use in thinking about that. <laughs> you know what these company what you know what these companies but it's hard to find a proper name to define them you know those companies where they go around meeting with other organizations to do business th with them middlemen the battle of the eagle and lion can you recall whether it was before or after i joined your class professor uh, it was uh it was after you joined you were there i'm glad you have not forgotten it was Maybe. Dr. No. Ooh, fish. Oh. The Great Bridge of Murden was considerably better fortified than it was five years ago. The bridge was full of soldiers, and they all died. Yep. You got a job offer today of such a position? Oh. I gotta say, it's tough to keep the fighting spirit alive when you recognize your Between, enemies like, on the two, battlefield. Between two specific companies, or are you just like a company that's hired to be the middlemen for another company? You can run away if you want. Hey, come on. Even I know we can't do that. Just because we're fighting someone doesn't mean we gotta hate them. That's probably the worst thing about war. Win or lose, I still get a bad taste in my mouth. The latter. Well, if it's a position you want you want to do, you don't have an issue yeah. with it. Hey. It is a line of work. It's not my kind of job, personally. I like my uh, coding job. Despite the uh, imposter syndrome that I have every single day, I can hardly believe it. I can hardly believe we're crossing the borders of the Empire to battle their army. I never thought I'd see the day. You'd never guess from the calm looks on everyone's faces, though. I mean, we're probably all gonna die. Let's be honest. His yeah. Highness, Lord Rodrigue, you? There's really something wrong with a lot of you, I swear. Yeah, we're all pretty screwed up, aren't we? Hey, Shamir. Yes, Becoming more of a risk. Reconnaissance is becoming more of a risk the deeper we move into enemy territory. If I don't come back, assume I'm dead. Understood. Good. We have to be realistic. Don't waste your energy worrying about me. Isn't Violet like seven points away from hitting? Oh, yeah, A rank and flying. Ronald Yun. Hmm? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to Ronderfield. 
I hear we're sending troops to Grander Field next. Is that what's what? That whole area is in the territory of House Bergley's. It's famous as the main granary of Fodman. If we could capture it, we probably wouldn't have to worry about food anymore. Bread for all. Guess you're not confident some you can keep up with, but the desperation of having a job at all is growing by the day, so you're kind of torn on this. If they're giving training, there's no reason not to not to give it a go. I would say try if you're if you're really trying to find a job. If they're offering it for you, just do your best. Who knows? Maybe you'll find you'll enjoy it a bit if they actually do a good job of teaching you. Sometimes they don't always do that. Hey, I've heard experiences where people just get crappy. Uh, seniors on their jobs and they don't teach them how to do their job properly okay. so as long as they have that hey, i'll take give it a shot required. and getting the experience Farewell. will definitely help in the future even if you don't stick Professor. stick with that job you aha uh -huh. yeah <laughs> you know war really is terrible people die food becomes scarce Weapons and rations start selling like hotcakes. Nobles start begging for loans. Oh, huh. I didn't mean... I didn't mean for that to sound so cold, really. Anyway, where are we off to this time? I hope it's the Alliance. You're not going with us. You're not a, you're not a person on the battlefield. Hey there. Is this... There you go. Is this there you go? Let's make sure everybody has Is this there you go? Well repaired items. Is this there you go? Is this it? Is this there you go? Is this there you go? Come back anytime. Perfect. Hmm. Hello there. Buy all the spinning yes. stones back. I thank you. Return soon, please. You have so much money. Oh. Hey, Lawrence. So, Claude and my father have made peace. That is to be expected. They both prioritize their own interests above all else. So long as those interests are in alignment, they will continue to cooperate. And based on that reasoning, one might infer that the Alliance should be also willing to work with the Kingdom's military. I highly doubt Claude would refuse to assist us if we were to ask. But you can't learn about yourself so you don't like the job, do it, do it properly, only just having the natural ability to see it done properly, and after that, maybe liking it will follow. Hey, I could use a hand. I feel like you're just basically in the stage of you don't know exactly what you want to do. Which a lot of people are like that lately. You don't always know exactly what kind of career you're going to go into, so you'll just take what you can get and then maybe you'll like it. You don't know until you try it. Like, my older brother was like that. He tried uh, going into a few things. He was essentially a bum for a bit, and now he's he's like the manager at a dog daycare store, and he really enjoys it. And my little brother, he thought he wanted to be like a uh, a sports manager, and now he's in real estate, and he enjoys it. When undertaking research, the usual Gotta method is try to things until you find what works for you, then test it with experiments. Those experiments reveal facts and falsehoods, yet sometimes they also unveil an exception. You seem to be that exception when it comes to my Crest research. Sorry about that. Worry not, Professor. I will find out eventually. Eloise, for mercy, this will be tough to crack. Word just reached me that the Empire has stationed soldiers in Fort Mercius. If they decide to dig in their heels and defend the fort, we'll be in a difficult situation. I so hear it's an impregnable work out for you too. surrounded by high ramparts. Taking it yep. would not be easy. As long as you try. If you, if, you, if you try, 
you might find out you like it. But you don't like like I like I was saying, you don't know until you uh try it. Like for me, I I was one of those lucky people and knew I wanted to do computer programming. Fun fact, the one class that I failed in high school was uh, the AP computer science class because the teacher was horrible because her pay kept getting cut and then eventually she took all her all three years of her programming classes, shoved them into a single school hour. So the AP class basically got a PowerPoint slide and just a set of assignments to do. It was horrible and I don't know if anybody passed that class. But I failed that class real hard. Anyway. Edelgard's presence suggests that Hubert is around too. He is minister of the Imperial household, after all. He's been around Edelgard since they were children. I suppose he must be pretty happy with his current position. Yeah, some like sometimes you'll find a thing you like, and programming was that thing that I just enjoyed. I'm just sort of lucky that it's a job that's somewhat in demand, but the interviewing process for software developers is still absolutely awful. You you basically have to get lucky, and I'm greatly appreciative for my company for hiring me. I heard the next battle might take us to Grander Field. Is that right? Reminds me of the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, but of course that was a very different time. When it was over, all three class heads complimented each other on their bravery. And then we had a party. But we can never go back to that, can we? Um, who's over there? A moment. Hey, Linhart. I seem to lack the skills required to grieve for the dead. If someone has passed, even someone dear to me, I could stand about and wail or get on with my life. While I'm at it, that whole idea that we must speak well of the dead? I don't understand that either. If I didn't like them when they were alive, then why pretend to do so when they are no longer here? Hmm. <laughs> And the sound of the phone phone call getting hired won't be much much of an issue. Right. Possible that they might have a high turnover rate. Hmm. Hmm. You just, whether whether it's because people don't do a good job or they're very picky about who they keep around, you don't know until you see. I'm feeling tense. So we're finally moving into enemy territory. We can expect the war to get even more intense from here on out. It's a breaking into jail scenario. I'm really feeling the tension what? now. I have almost no experience with battles of this scale. Professor, I'll be grateful for your leadership on the battlefield. I know I can trust you. Getting in isn't the problem, rather how to get out. Getting out usually isn't an issue, but uh... The issue comes okay. where if you... If, like, you're one of those people where it's like, if I'm leaving a job, then I have to get the... I, ha I have to be fired rather than quitting, because if they fire you, usually they have to pay you a certain amount after the firing. But if you quit, then they don't, uh... They don't have to pay. So, getting out shouldn't be difficult. It's, uh... It's getting out. If uh, you really hate the hate the place, then finding another job going to be tough. As powerful as our knights are, we're outnumbered by a long shot. This won't be easy. It's crazy to attempt this. I guess I'm crazy to go along with it. Is there even anything he needs to learn anymore? I don't believe so. Huh? Um. Hmm. Ignace is chilling on the bridge. Hmm. 
He's hoping tomorrow this job will be the answer to your prayers. Tonight, you just want to forget about the day. Really? I feel the same. I had a horrible Hi. headache throughout most of today. Hopefully it doesn't come back as midnight comes around. That's about when the painkillers are going to wear off. What an astounding structure. Thanks to our victory, I've been able to study the Great Bridge of Murden at my leisure. And you know what? It's an astounding structure. So much history there. Imagine how much time and effort it must have taken. I hope that someday... Torch. Well, hey, Marianne. The situation in the alliance says, do you think he's forgotten about me? Sure, he's just busy. If that's the case, I'd actually... There's one note. In an attempt to clean my room, I tried to throw out the things I no longer need, but I can't bring myself to do it. After all, I can't just throw away precious memories, right? Seal, seal your past in your current room and find a new one. Uh, memories design the heart, not in objects. Aw. Uh, but it's true, though. Really? It's a do. Is uh, Dimitri less pissy yet? You have my sincerest gratitude. Circumstances and my wounds have prevented me from being by His Highness's side these five years. I am grateful that you have found him for me. I am once again in your debt. <sighs> finally. I can finally kill her. Finally. I can avenge them. Uh, he's just, uh, reveling. <laughs> In his office. I hope we find some clue. Each time we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. Oh yeah, we're searching for Rhea. I certainly Rhea. hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is. If I'm right. And she is in the Imperial capital. And we cannot save her until we topple the Empire. Give me Alert Stance Plus. Yeah. This experience. Wow, there's a lot of people in there. The hell is going on? What do you think? Oh, thank you. Um, thank you for bringing me here. I've been given permission to take part in this next mission, too. Oh, no. I'll finally be able to avenge my brother. I swear. I'll take down that monster. Whatever you say, Flesh. I think we'll make it. I heard Edelgard is going to be leading her forces personally in the next battle. Seems pretty reckless to charge right into this one. I'm not sure I like our chances. What do you think? As long as you're here, I'll be fine. Hey! How come you only ever flatter me in times like these? What am I supposed to make of that? Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. We're facing a very big battle. Yet another grand battle awaits. Many will lose their lives. There's no way around it. I am well aware. This is war, after all. And war Even never changes. those we are up against. Friends from the time now past. I won't hold back. Is this... Is this... We must prepare the best we can. Catherine will surely be able to convince Count Karen. All that remains is to wait for a response from the Alliance side. For now, there are preparations to be made for the coming battle. I wonder what the future holds. I'm glad you're the one giving orders on the battlefield, Professor. I don't think we should trust Dimitri with that task. 
Although it's thanks to his obsession that we're wasting no time taking the shortest route to defeating the Empire. I just can't see a bright future for this army, fighting as we are under the banner of a prince possessed. Even if we do succeed in defeating the Empire, I wonder what will become of Foblin. I apologize. Whenever I'm with you, I speak more openly than I should. Please keep this between us. Ash, if we win the next battle... If we defeat the Imperial Army at Grandeur Field, what will our next objective be? I guess we won't have much choice but to try to take Fort Mercius on the far side of Grandeur Field. It's probably too soon for us to be thinking about that, isn't it? The battle just ahead of us is far from certain. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Oh. I'm starting to get a little nervous. So, we're finally going to set foot in the Empire. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I guess there's a good chance we'll be fighting more old friends from here on out. Um, people in the next room as well. Whoosh. I don't have a, do not have understanding. Nobles who are changing allegiance again and again. I do not have understanding for that. How can you trust if treason comes with ease? How can you be calling yourself a noble? I do not have understanding of the reasoning. For personal gain. Survival has more importance than that. Are they not knowing this? Makes me heart heavy. The thought of fighting people who were once our friends, it makes my heart heavy. If it was gonna come to this, Maybe I should have avoided making friends with people from the Empire and the Alliance to begin with. You might be right. You think so too, Professor? I'm glad it's not just me. It did often seem strange to me at the Academy that we were studying with all these people from all over the world. But I feel like I've finally started to understand the real reason behind it. The more you get to know people from other places, the harder you'll try to avoid fighting wars with them. No gift. I hear the next battle will be a big one. I hear the next battle could be a big one. Is that true? I miss the old days when if someone got hurt, we'd rush them to the infirmary and make them well. But on the battlefield, there's not enough time to help. People die. Professor, don't be one of those. Well, I won't. If I do, we have to wind back time because the mission will be impossible to complete. Hey, Cyril. Gotta keep this place clean. I gotta keep this place clean. And I mean properly clean. Every day. Dust it, sweep it, everything. You never can tell when Lady Rhea might be back. You need a break. This is... Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Rodrigue. You're the last person before, before we head to the abyss. Whoa. It was a little weird there. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Professor. Sorry, I was a little lost in thought there. About all that has happened and all that is to come. I'm sure the battles ahead will not be easy. But please, take good care of His Highness. Alright, let's go underground. And then we can do some missions. I don't think we have to do any paralogues, since uh, most of the paralogues are still like two months before we can't do them. So leveling up comes first. Especially with the dew, we need to use him a lot to get his quick repost. He, he needs that. We should celebrate. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. The great tree moon is finally upon us. It's time to celebrate a new year. We only get so many. Folks up top don't seem to be in the mood to celebrate, though. I hate war. People to talk to, there's... 
a few normal people. Hmm. I still want them to be safe. We've seen the face of evil. One of its faces, at least. And the Alliance is involved now. Hopefully, we can avoid dragging Alliance territory through the horrors of war. I may have cut ties with my family, but I still want them to be safe and all. It's fair. Let's see. That's so. What a pain. What a pain. What an absolute pain. Ellipses. You shall know it when you see it. Across the bridge is Burgley's territory. It marks the start of our incursion into the Empire. Worry not. I feel no trepidation as we do this. Mark how my spellcraft carries us through to Envon. One more person over here. Ugh. I have no regrets. You used to be a rather important person in the church. You've I seen this one. I remember that. You? Please, you can't tell anyone you saw me here. I couldn't stand the war. I remember this. Seems like the abyss has uh, a boring day, a boring uh, month this month. That duke is pretty upstanding. That duke Fraldarius is a rather upstanding guy. Getting into his good graces isn't without challenges. If he were a bit more corrupt, he'd be much more pliable. Oh? I'm not trying to pull anything funny. Just noting that he's a respectable soldier. I hear he's the sort to have drinks with his men, getting to know them personally. Just last night, he and Felix had a chat. I'm sure there's a lot to work out between them. Now that's some new dialogue. Happy, where you at? Yikes. Pretty twisted. You're fighting people we used to know from the Officers Academy. I guess that's the kind of thing that happens in war, but still, it's pretty twisted. It makes me feel so... Oof. I'll go to the dining hall. Oh yeah, we also can... Buy fish so we can make the stat boosting dishes for the month. It's so nice that now that we have the dark merchant, we can make the defense up one every single time. I just have to remember to buy it. Also, there's a thing here. What's this? little side quest thanks I'm glad I asked you hmm. hello all right will this one do it's all you need this one it's and will plant. this one do it's will this one do it will this one it's will this one it will this one it will this one it will this one it's will this one it's all tell your friends i also miss sylvain about... don't think too much about what's next say we do manage to take down edelgard here what do you think his highness will do next as long as there's a plan, I won't complain. I just, you know, want to know there is a plan. Head to the Kingdom Capital first? I think we're going to be continuing on to the Imperial Capital. Yeah, I suppose that's the most likely plan, since we're traveling with the church and everything. I suppose we should focus on the battle right in front of us, instead of what happens later. Good. 
There you go. Defense plus one. You can make one of those a month. I enjoy cooking. You seem to know what you are doing. to waste our time with anything else. Right to do. Uh not sure. Do we want to get fists to A plus first or do we want to get he has expertise in that. I answered correctly. No need for prey. It's finally I... come back to you. What do you mean? Certain units and fates excelled at cooking. It was very funny to learn who could. I do remember that being a little bit of a feature. I... I... Some would just make, like, pretty much sewage as a result of them cooking. Can you actually make food that makes your stats go down? I feel like I remember that. Authority. Seriously, among the best cooks was a woman child who gets off all the people she kills. I can't remember who exactly that was. My memory of fates is hazy at best. It was kind of like a fever dream. I just played, I just played through it. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Her name is Perry, one of the Xanas names. Oh, her. Yeah, her. <laughs> Whenever I visit my home, my brother yammers on and on about all the things I'm doing wrong. It's so exhausting. I wish he'd back off and let me live my life. What do you think I should do? Yammer back at him. See how he likes it. Oh, wow. I get it now. <laughs> that was the good answer. I remember Perry. She has weird colored hair. Let's get this. Well, 
Done. I think I'm improving. I'm a quick study. I have much. Yep. Er. All right, certifications to do. You are now the best punchy boy. Actually, doesn't leveling grappler get you doesn't it get you a bit punching avoid? Grappler, let's see. Wow, this did not help me at all. Um, Grappler gets you Tome Breaker and Fierce Iron Fist. Then is it War Master that gets you the Punching Avoid? Um, no, that gets Critical and Quick Repost. Then how do you get Punching Avoid? Learn by mastering the War Monk and War Cleric classes. Got it. Got it. Okay. That does mean he needs to learn a little bit of a... Yeah. needs to get this, so he needs faith to be at C plus or higher. Man, that's never gonna happen. Either way, he can level up that for a quicker post for now. As we'll spend a lot of, uh, stuff to get his punching up to snuff. Ooh, more paralogs. Cool. All still available until 8.23. Except for this one, it's available until 6.28. Still got like two months for it. So, battle on the plateau. Suggested level 35. One of your favorite retainers was Effie. Oh yeah, the lady whose uh, the syllables the syllables of her name is literally fire F E Fire Emblem. Uh, Elise's retain retainer slash best friend woman had that superhuman strength. Yes. Sweat. Got a magic staff. Let's do that. Let's do that. Talisman. So. Hmm, who do we bench then? Probably Dimitri. The dude, the dude gets to party for a bit. In addition, the dude gets the Aegis Shield. And, uh, 
spell Darius. Which one's spell Darius? Noah, Daphne, Bladed, Goneril, Keyhole, Gautier, Regan, Chevalier, Lemon. I'm pretty sure I had the one for Feldarius somewhere. Oh. He had it. I remember her support with Hannah, Retainer, Sakura, and also Best Friend. I didn't look at all the supports. There were way too many characters. Just like how even after 300 hours, I probably haven't seen all the supports in this game because there are way too many characters. As much as I like Fire Emblem, my god, their casts are really, really bloated. Alright, to do. He has supports with Gilbert. And that's pretty much it. There you are. still has a support with Blaine. Might as well. Doesn't hurt to max all those out. Cyril still has uh, Sedith and Lysithia. Good thing I double checked that. Especially the A, especially the A rank. Effie covered herself in weights and told her she was going to do 15. How was like 15 minutes? I don't think I can last 15 seconds. And Effie replied, uh, I meant 15 miles. <laughs> Come back. Let's see. His protection is a total of an effective 38. And damn, these guys have 59 attack. Yeah, that's a. Uh... That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's go. That woman ain't human. I mean, it's it's like the same that uh, with what uh, Raph does. I am prepared. It's in line with everyone's responses too. I'm your girl. My thanks. Let's go. You have anything special? Rusted sword? We need that sword. You cannot you cannot take that from me. Sally Ford. Oh yeah, trade secrets also. Didn't have steel on. I should just have him keep steel on. He doesn't need that thing. She could literally crumple up a soldier's helmet one handed. I mean, Dimitri did that. The dude was even lifted lifted up in the air with one hand when he did it.
Effie's not so special. Okay, where's uh you? We'll replace lethality with feel. That way we don't get random killing. I am prepared. I'm your girl. My thanks. I'll cut through. You and you. Vision, you still have Mercurius, right? Yeah, perfect. I'd be honored. That's not fair, he was experimented on. True. There's some weird shit going on. Effie actually worked for her strength. Let's go. Ready when you are. Sally Ford. What's my strategy? I wield this power for his highness. Good stats. Well, thanks, sir. Next time you bake a cake, you can add protein powder to it. Not a bad idea. You need to get some good flavors out of it. I made a uh, like a banana cream pie, but in like the banana, the uh, banana flavored pudding, I added protein powder in it. Surprisingly good. Looking good. But it was chocolate protein powder, and I and I am a huge chocolate dude, so I'll cut it through. only makes sense for me. I'd be honored. Shall we? Ready when you are. Uh, can we kill in one hit? I think waning shot. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that shall do the crit made it just not matter at all. Sally Ford. Hello, chocolate lover. Dude, chocolate's my favorite What's flavor my for so much stuff. Like for ice cream, too. Chocolate's the best flavor. The richer the richer the chocolate, the better it is. Let's go. So close. Curve shot it is. I'm your girl.
as is yours. Fellow man of culture. Um, we need to get rid of you. Should have given him a knowledge gem for for it. You know what it does for you is the perfect combination of sweet and bitter. It also has the illusion of falling in love. Well, I don't know about that, but I do love me some good chocolate. <laughs> I'll cut through. That much I know. Nice form. Let's go. Rightfully mine. What's my strategy? Shall we? I'd be honored. Um, I don't think we can double this guy, can we? Sally Ford. I can rain death from above, though. a 100% chance? I said 100. I'd be honored. Ah, it's 79 against him. Okay, we'll move closer. I'll humor you. There. Can't miss a 100% chance. What's my strategy? Contest the flavors are turned to personality traits. In this case, sweet means you bitter beans tomorrow, which you consider yourself most of the time. Okay. I am prepared. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. As long as you don't get hit by a crit. One. Good. Let's go. Ready when you are. Yeah, I don't usually tie the video game stuff to real world equivalents, but. <clears throat> Yeah. 
chocolate is chocolate. I am. That's how I see it. It just tastes good. Rescue is a thing that we have. I forgot. I'm your girl. Thank you. At your service. Ha! I am prepared. That is a perfect kill. Let's go. Of course it does the MVP. Battle in the forest. Um... I think this is that weird, annoying map that has way too many trees. The one where Marianne's paralogue is, Bernie and Petra's paralogue is. Yep. Knew it. Well, let's store stuff. He also needs a knowledge gem, which he will quit for now. We'll store that and pick it back up. Go to the bottom. I'm gonna guess that he got the Gilbert one. Yep, Gilbert C is done. I abused the hell out of that time reversal. I mean... It's a mechanic that exists and refreshes after every single battle. I see no reason not to abuse this game mechanic. Ooh! Nice at the A plus support. And that means Zero can start flying again. Time. In the last one, we'll just throw somebody on either Felix or Mercedes. Um, I guess throw Bill Bain on on uh, Felix. Well. And also, there's one major problem that I realized I didn't uh, rectify. Battalions. The dude doesn't have a battalion. That is a big problem. Well, he definitely wants the strength to take a few more hits. Yeah, that's, uh, that'll do. I am prepared.
Yeah, 43 protection. That's more like it. Let's go. I'll cut through. I yeah. sense an imp garbage. Sally forth. Shall we? I'm your girl. Ready when you are. At your service. I'd be honored. What's my strategy? Give me that HP back. Jerk. Trying to check his movement. Kill you. Dance. And kill you. I wield this power for his highness. Strength is a good stat. I'll take it. Keep it up. I love this gambit dance, it's so good. I thank you. Now we can steal from you. Steal from you. And blow everybody up again. It is. Now, is there anything you can do about this guy? Sadly, we don't have an instant kill here. Um, okay, we can do this. Exact damage. Here we need to move them slightly I am forward. Prepared. Shove. A little bit more. We'll try rally. There we go. Yeah, 
guy doesn't tank everything like a true champ anymore. Now he takes bits of damage. It seems my... Seven damage, okay, so he'll be fine. Get that shit out of here. Seven. Nice. I fight and grow stronger. Hilda still has more strength than him. Thirty-four versus her thirty-nine. Nice triple attack. Let the do as have his time in the spotlight. Seven. And we got strength and I'll speed. I'll use this power for the greater good. I'm just gonna get rid of you. You don't need you. Causing us any problems. Look 
good. Still got it. That big of a deal. Thirty-eight. No magic. Not great. Punch him in there. Almost another level. Got one more. Again, battle in the forest. Do not like this map. Oh boy, two more trade secrets to yet to steal. Okay, how did the sports look? To do, yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I remember to do supports. Doesn't have much left. Keep Gilbert because blocking is good. range is horse and punchy guy. Ready when you are. Let's go. This should be a Shall fine we? enough lure. Sally I'd be honored. What's my strategy? At your service. Five. This yeah. is no time to stay. Garbage. Next try. <laughs> Effort truly does pay off in the end. So hard to get the fine avoid the proc. It's 20% HP, I believe, right? Or 25%? Either one of those, it's not easy to get off. 
my biggest problem with it. I'll cut through. I'd be honored. What's my strategy? Shall we? The situation is dire. Here to help. This little stun. Selling for Let's go. I'm your girl. Damn it, dance. Thank you. I am prepared. Lucky. Age takes its toll. Four is definitely not Gagan. Or is it Yagen? Yagen, right? At your service. Exactly one space short. Here's a movement rally. However, to do, you still have to uh, wait. Once again, one movement short, so rally. These guys have so much of weight. Their attack 33. Okay, they can't even hurt him. Silver gauntlets, silver gauntlets. Where do they have different speeds? They're they're the same unit. Their speeds are just different for some reason. A little weird. Level 57. Nice. This is for everyone's good. That fortify has so much range.
Keyboard gets more experience than blowing them up with bolting ever would. Unless she's killing the boss, then maybe. Maybe it would be worth. There must be more I can do. Good. That gives higher hit, a little bit more avoid, and such. No more supports to give, just let you get all the experience. Easy. Although we're coming up in a little bit of trouble. This this guy. Nice. All good stats. Still isn't good enough. All the good stats. Six. Not great. I wield this power for his highness. Not great. Now we get to feed everybody, and then we do some more skill point grinding, or class point grinding. You 
That's everybody. Begin training. Friend. Sure. Oh boy. Yep. You've seen it already. Kit. I'm getting the hang of it. This should be suited. I forgot to give to do perhaps I'll white it's magic learning. Instinct. I'm getting it. I'm looking sharp. There is room to it. Appreciate it. All right. Because I know I can adjust it here. Goals, you. Your punching is already at A plus, and you're going to be using it anyway. So, faith and authority. Oh damn, he's disadvantaged with faith. Well, he'll needs to get it to D plus before he can try out for it. And D plus isn't super hard to get to. Anyway, you have some supports. Ah, hello. To do, yes? Finished praying? I am, yes. You have grown much since I saw you last. You're a man now. You barely know me. True. I suppose we did only meet a handful of times. As haggard as you look now, you were even worse when I last saw you in the capital. Haggard, eh? True enough. Still weighed down by the same regret, I see. I was unable to protect the king. That is the ultimate failure. One I must atone for. If you have the spare time to beg forgiveness, then pick up a lance and train. That would do nothing to atone for the dead. Your prayers are mere self-indulgence. You do not understand. No, I do not. Fargus needed you. His Highness needed you. There was no other choice but for me to leave. What would you have done if you were in my place? If His Highness had died due to your failures? If he commanded me to live, then I would live. Otherwise, I would die with him. I have nothing left to lose other than His Highness. Home, family, all but that man I have already lost. You were a knight in service to the king for decades. Not only did you excel in bravery, wisdom, and tactics, but in matters of character, you were an ideal knight, utterly above reproach. That is what His Highness has always said. I have only come this far by modeling my conduct after his stories of you. But now... Forget those words spoken by His Highness. I am no different a man than I was before. Beaten down by sin, alone and weak, I am lost and irredeemable. Viral and Lysithia A+. I did it! I did it! Okay, so next up is... What's this letter all about? It doesn't appear to have a sender written anywhere. This handwriting is so sloppy. Wow. Dear Lysithia, I read the book you gave me. This must be from Cyril. He's learning so quickly. It was hard and it got more easy, more I tried it, and it was fun and I learned new stuff. That's the spirit. Thanks, you, for helping me to read and to write. You are so welcome. Some things are hard to say and easy to write. I know just what you mean. I want to read more and learn writing better. You're already doing so well with this. I can see how hard you're working. I am glad you are my friend it makes me bappy. 
<laughs> hey, Lysithia. Last night I finished reading the book you lent me. I wanted to tell you right away, but it was late, so I tried to write a letter. Um, Lysithia? Cyril, you sweet little... Did I do something wrong? I don't know what you're trying to say. Some feelings can't be verbalized or put into writing. Just... Look, it's just that... I... I'm sorry. I really don't know what you're trying to say. What I'm trying to say is... I'm Bappy too. But... Bappy? <laughs> Let's keep studying and spending time together, okay? Oh, I get you now. That sounds great, Lysithia. That was cute. Yeah. Yeah. Not, uh... Not here yet. It will come with time. Badly used stuff. Is this a there you go? Is this there you go? Come back anytime. What do you require? Farewell. Mm. Hello there. This one, yes? I think. Return soon, please. And we'll just do food to get everyone's motivation up. What about... Since it's faster. We also don't have to worry about, uh... I like that. Learning that anything new for Byleth. He had... Like, he's as learned as... As he needs to be. This looks this. Ooh. Yeah. I do know of something we can do. You can do the uh, the chapel thing, since that gives a little bit of uh, faith. After the fighting's done. That sounds like. Here. Well, singing in tall. tune with others proved quite difficult. Singing is so much fun. He's nearly twice her height. Oh, 
Okay. Training. Bye. Oh, there was one Bye. other thing I could have done. I could have done the sauna. War. And just made sure to do was well enough off. But I forgot. I rushed to completion. Best choice of words. What? For Annette, how's it going? Oh, it's been a while. You see, I shall. You see, I my. No one's learning a max out skill, right? Good. That's all we care about. Friend. I mean, you changed to whatever last time, and now you're changing again? Whatever. You do you, Yuri. Ooh. Slow load. Yes, all that. Aha! Uh -huh. This will help. Alright, the Doom might be able to get War Master by the end of this. Oh, yeah, I also didn't check his abilities. Um. Yeah, he's good. I think next month we'll do some of the level 33 paralogs. We should be strong enough to handle all those. Hmm. You know, it's get it is getting pretty late. Not sure I should be playing this till one in the morning, even if I want to. I'm trying to think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, yeah, we have 12 people. I just forgot about it. Who our 12th man was, because we're not using Dimitri that much. Silver gauntlets. Alright, yeah. It's probably better to call it a night now. Alright, so till next time then. Have a good night.